Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Well, in this video, we will discuss a grammar material um, This is one of materials of TOEFL test um, In this meeting, we would like to talk about um, prepositions But, in this meeting, we only focus on three prepositions what are they let's discuss now let's discuss the three prepositions okay, mari kita bahas ketiga preposisi atau ketiga kata depan tersebut um, the prepositions are in on and at Concerning place and time Jadi berkaitan dengan tempat dan waktu Well, let's discuss um, the three prepositions In, on, and at Concerning place first Berkaitan dengan waktu dulu The first preposition is In In here is used for name of country. For example, he studied in London. Or name of city or town or village. For example, for city he lives in London. Next, um, on. On here is to show name of street. For example, here on the Sudirman Street. So you can use another name of street. And next, TV. The show is on TV. Well, the next preposition is at. At here is for specific location, usually with street and number. For example, the Sudirman Street, number 50. Um, well, next, this, uh, let's discuss the three prepositions in, on, and At here concerning time, jadi yang berkaitan dengan waktu sekarang. Um, in Let, let's discuss with preposition in. In here is, is used for year. Example in 1991, month in July. Next. It is also used for a duration of time. For example, in two weeks, in two days, in two hours, in two minutes. Ya, dalam dua minggu, dua hari, dua jam, and dua menit. Um, yeah, still about in. In is also used for decade. Dalam sepuluh dekade. In nintis, tahun 90-an. Ya, di tahun 90-an. And next for century. Abad pada abad 19 in uh, ya yeah. abad 19 and then um, for specific time for example in the morning in the afternoon in the evening and it is also used for the word future for example ya yeah, in the future. Next is also for name of season. For example, in the summer, in winter, in autumn, yeah, and in spring. Um, next preposition is on. On here is name of day. For example, on Wednesday. And then it is also used for date. For example, June 8, 2020. Jadi untuk tanggal. Um, next, it is for the word birthday, for example, on his birthday. And the next preposition is at. To show the time, um, it is to show um, at 9, for example, at 10, at 11, and it's also uh, used for specific time at lunch time 
example. Next, the word, the word night, at night. Well, that's all my explanation about the three prepositions. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.